Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, we've got a little bit of movement with stuff happening in the house, which is great. Um, I'm gonna basically fit, like update you guys this week with all the stuff that's going on. We're gonna have a few, quite a few changes over the next week or two. So I thought I would just kind of like vlog all of it um, to get you guys up to speed. So things that have happened, basically we ripped out the bathroom. So that's a big thing that has happened. So our bathroom was super dated. The toilet's been leaking for like the last month. Only when you flush it, it doesn't leak constantly, but we basically can't use the toilet in there. The shower's out of action. So it's been a completely unusable room. So basically Steve demoed the whole room. We got out as much as possible. Um, and we've managed to fill up our whole skip with loads of stuff that we had in the garage and from the bathroom and stuff. And also we're having some of our ceilings looked at as well. In case you guys don't remember, like when we first moved in, all of the ceilings in here were um, Artex ceilings. So we're slowly getting them kind of like plastered over. So the plasterer has been in this morning to do some work. So let me just kind of take you through and show you what's happened. Okay, so first up is the guest bedroom. And the ceiling currently looks like this. <laughs> um, it smells super, super weird in here as well. So we had Artex ceilings in here. Just before Christmas, we actually stripped the wallpaper, painted the walls and everything, just so we could kind of chuck some furniture in here for people to stay over the holidays. But we've moved all of the furniture out so that our plasterer can kind of come in and tackle the ceiling. So he has put a special kind of, he hasn't scraped them. He's put a special kind of primer on it. And then this is a bonding mix, which I think is like a kind of thicker, grittier kind of plaster. He's gonna come back tomorrow and do like a PVA coat. And then I think like a kind of finishing skin. So obviously this isn't, you know, done done. This is just kind of like the primer layer, which is why it looks a bit uneven at the moment. We also did have a really bad crack all the way along the ceiling there. He found out why, and basically whoever made the house had um, attached the plasterboard with nails rather than screws. So he went around and screwed them all back in to make sure it won't drop down again and that the crack shouldn't appear. Um, so nothing too major, but a bit random. Oh dear. And obviously once um, he is finished in here, the plan for us is obviously gonna be to prime and paint the ceiling. We'll be doing that ourselves. And then remove all of the skirting boards, new skirting boards, new carpet, move all the furniture back in. And then this room should be done. So the other room that has been worked on is ooh, the bathroom. Okay, so this is it post demo. Let me turn the light on. So this is post demo. Um, we've taken all the tiles out, as many as possible. Um, and then obviously he's done the same thing with the ceiling in here as well. Um, I'm gonna do a whole different like planning video for the bathroom to show exactly what we're gonna go for and why. Um, Rocky, out please. It's not really safe for him to be in here at the moment. So basically, we're gonna be tiling this wall here, this one and this one. This wall was originally tiled, but I don't want it tiled. Um, we've gone for a smaller format tile. I think it'll be a bit too busy. So he's actually gonna give us a quote to plasterboard this and um, skim that as well. Might have out. Gosh, time to be in here. You can see the leak from the toilet, which is disgusting. Um, but then yeah, once the plastering and the ceiling has been done and dried and everything, we'll come in here, paint the ceiling. We're gonna paint this wall, that wall, and this back wall as well. And then basically in like a week's time, a week and a bit, we're having our plumber come in um, to do all of it. Just do the whole bathroom, the tiling, everything. So hopefully we should see some movement pretty quickly on that. So that is the kind of progress from kind of day one. Obviously I don't include us like demoing it. When I say us, Steve, he very much did all of that himself. Um, but yeah, he's also managed to clear out the garage which is so much better. I'll have to take you guys in there and do a proper like garage organization at some point, but that's a whole other project. So yeah, I will check back in with you guys tomorrow when the plaster has been and gone and done all the skimming. Okay guys, day two, I am wearing the same outfit, so hence the confusion, but our plasterer has just left 
for the day. So I'm gonna go in and show you what he's been up to. Okay, so this is what the guest bedroom is looking like. So this is finished basically. He said that we should give it two to three days to dry but I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on camera because it always looks a bit funky, but it is super duper smooth. Um, just looks awesome. I don't know, like the ceilings kind of look higher. I feel like it's an optical illusion. Um, I, I can't remember if I said this before, but he didn't put down any sheets and stuff because obviously we kind of said like, don't worry about it. We're going to be replacing this carpet. Um, so yeah, we'll need to obviously give the walls like a little lick of paint and redo all the edging and stuff, but that's not a big deal. And then the bathroom, the ceiling hasn't been done yet. He is coming back tomorrow to do that. But what he has done in here is plasterboarded this wall. I think he said that he dot and dabbed it. Um, I've got no idea what I'm talking about, but I think basically rather than screwing it in, he's like done blobs of plaster and kind of like stuck it on that way but he has wrapped it all the way around there as well. So that has all been done. Um, so this wall will be tiled. So tomorrow he will be coming back, even though tomorrow's Saturday, he's gonna come back um, and finish the ceiling and he will be plastering that as well. And then he should be done. Since I can't really help out with much else, I'm gonna build this mound chest of drawers, which is what, this sink will sit on. Um, so yeah, I just wanna kinda of like get it built and done so that when the plumber does wanna start work in the bathroom, then it's all ready to go and I don't have to rush it. <laughs> Okay, so the frame is all built. I just need to do all the drawers. Um, I thought I would show you this because I had a few questions after our last vanity. So in case you haven't seen our on-speed video, we basically put a Malm chest of drawers as our bathroom vanity. I had a lot of questions about it, whether it was strong enough, whether the laminate was all right. So I thought I'd answer them really quickly. In terms of strength, um, these are actually really strong. So the Malm ones have been updated. Ikea updated them maybe a year or two ago. These are super strong now. There's like this huge supportive block in there. <laughs> you want attention, don't you? There's another one in there. So these are so, so sturdy now. So I'd say if you are gonna do this, make sure you get one of the new ones. If you're looking at repurposing um, an old chest of drawers, the older Malms aren't actually that strong. So that's one thing I would say, but these are super strong. In terms of laminate, if you actually look, you can spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a vanity from like Victoria Plum or wherever, and there'll be laminate half the time. So unless you're forking out to get like a solid wood one or something like that, quite often they are laminate anyway. We've had zero issues with our other one. Um, this one we're doing slightly differently. So you'll see that I haven't put the top on it. Um, the last one we had the top on and we had just like a sit on top sink. This time we've got a sink to actually sit in it. So I'm gonna try and put it in now and double check it actually fits. Yes. So I will be doing a complete um, bathroom planning breakdown video. I don't know which one's gonna go live first. So if it may, may already be live, I don't know but I got this sink from Ikea as well. I obviously measured it all before I ordered it, obviously, because I'm not an idiot, but I was a little bit nervous it wouldn't fit. I am in love. Obviously, imagine it's got drawers in. Let's ignore that for now. Um, this looks so, so nice. So I don't think the top drawer will be usable just because this sits down a little lower. With our one and our ensuite, you can still use the top drawer, but just not the middle bit. Um, I think this looks so nice. I'm really, really excited now. Right, I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera and you guys will just have to wait 
and see what it looks like in the final bathroom reveal. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Right guys, day three, the plaster has just left me. He has finished up. So I'll show you what he's been up to today. Obviously I showed you the guest bedroom yesterday. No change there. We're just waiting for that to dry. And the main change is in here, the bathroom. So I think yesterday I showed you that he had plasterboarded this wall. He's obviously now skimmed it. He's done the ceiling as well. So that's all nice and like smooth. I won't go in because it is very, very dirty in here. Um, but yeah, like this room basically, we're just gonna wait for it to dry. And then once it's dry, we'll give it a quick spray on all of the walls that are actually gonna stay like painted. Um, and yeah, and then it'll be ready for the, pl uh, the plumber to come in and do his thing but it's nice to have some of the walls just like smooth. He said it would take roughly two to three dry, two to three days for it to dry, but where it's done straight onto plasterboard, he said it would take less time. Um, so I will obviously update you guys once it's all dry. Good morning guys. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm losing my voice because I've been ill the last week, but the ceiling in the guest bedroom is finally dry the bathroom not so much so it's been about a week since it got done it's taken longer to dry out because of a couple of reasons firstly we moved our little thermostat thing on top of our router box and where the router obviously gets warm really like stupid mistake from us it was throwing off the temperature so the heating wasn't turning on in our house and we couldn't figure out why that is why um and also the bathroom where the plasterer is working in there he um turned the radiators down because obviously he had the windows open at the time and we forgot to turn them back on so the radiators weren't even on in the bathroom i think it was on in the guest bedroom but anyway the guest bedroom is fully dry now i'll show you the bathroom is very nearly dry i had a little electric radiator in there yesterday but today we're basically going to start mist coating the ceiling in the guest bedroom. So in case you've never um, painted fresh plaster before, basically you have to do like a mist coat, um, which it will say like, we get the Dulux Trade um, emulsion that specifies how much you have to water it down by, but it's basically like you have to do a couple of water down coats first. Something to do with like how fresh plaster, I think it soaks it up or something. Um, so yeah, you do a couple of water down coats and then um a normal coat but we have our paint sprayer which if you are going to move into a renovation property and you're going to have to be painting a lot of ceilings and stuff honestly this is so worth it because painting ceilings is horrible with a roller it's so so messy it's back breaking it's just rubbish we have a paint sprayer it saved us so much time and it saved our backs so we'll be using that today um but yeah let me show you what it's looking like now okay so you'll be able to see that the ceiling in here is dry so the way that you tell it's dry is basically it just goes a light color um so it was super super dark before it was like a dark browny color and now it's like a kind of light pinky beigey color you know you're not meant to be in there because it's dirty oh dear so we're gonna spray this one now and then let me show you what the bathroom ceiling is looking like so this wall is pretty much dry so you'll be able to see the difference like that bit is still wet and then like on the ceiling that bit around there is still wet but the majority of the rest of the ceiling is still dry so i think i'm gonna i put my little radiator in here which is my nice new one but i couldn't find another one um i think we like move it over a bit and try and get it under here and just put it on for a little bit longer um but yeah it's very very nearly there um, the plumber is starting on this room in like three days, so hopefully it will dry out, um, and we'll be, because we want to paint it before he starts like, you know, bringing stuff in here and doing the tiling and stuff. So in this room, we do want to paint the ceiling, obviously miss coat, miss coat that, but then we also want to paint this wall, the one behind the door there, and this one as well. Um, yeah, we just want to get it all painted before new stuff goes in. Okay, so this is the paint that we use. So it's a super matte one. Um, one of the reasons I use it is because it says it's ideal for new plaster. Also, the coverage is just really, really good. So I've mixed up our watered down coat in this little bowl. So it's three parts paint, one part water. 
So some of them will say like 50-50. This is one of the reasons I like this one is because it's watered down, but it's still gonna be really good coverage. Um, so I'm just gonna put that in our paint sprayer. Steve is gonna be doing the painting today. So I'm just gonna get this all set up for him. I will link this in the description in case anyone is curious. It's not cheap, but it's so worth it. Um, and yeah, I've just bagged up the light so he doesn't paint the light fixture. Um, but the rest we're not too precious about. The walls need to have another lick of paint anyway. Um, and then obviously the carpet will be ripped up. So that's why the carpet's still down, is because obviously it doesn't matter if it gets paint on it. But yeah, I'll try and film as much as possible. It does have a little bit of overspray in here, so I don't want to keep my camera in here, um, but I will try and film some of it for you guys. <laughs> Okay, so this is how we're looking after one coat. Much, much better, but obviously still needs a couple more coats. Um, so we've got to wait a couple of hours. We can do a second coat, um, and then we will probably just go in with one coat of like normal emulsion. But you can see that the coverage is really, really good considering that it's like watered down paint. So I won't show you the next couple of coats because super boring. I will check back in with you guys when we're actually like properly painting this room out and doing the skirting boards and the carpet and all of that jazz. Okay guys, not entirely sure what the last bit I filmed was. I think I showed you guys Steve pulling up the carpet and then we went around and gave the walls like a lick of paint and they had a little bit of plaster on them from when obviously the ceiling got plastered. I still need to do another coat on like the kind of edge because it's a little bit blotchy but the ceiling is looking fabulous. Far, far better than what it was like before. The walls are all done apart from a couple of little small like touch-ups. Um, obviously the carpet's gone and we have got the skirting boards on. They have had one coat of primer, so I'm just gonna let this dry now and then I'm gonna do like two coats of just like normal paint on top. And then we'll probably be putting the carpet in tomorrow, I think. I also need to change out these plug sockets, but I'm probably just gonna do that whenever. It's like a small, easy job to fit in, you know, during the week. So this is what 
the ceiling and the wall is looking like with that first mist coat. This is pretty much dry now, so Steve is going to do another one, and then hopefully by the end of the day we should do a third coat, which will just be like normal, and we're gonna do this wall as well. Um, this is all I'm gonna show you guys of this room, because I'm gonna be covering all of this in our bathroom video. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that, because yeah, tomorrow it all kicks off, and hopefully we will have a fully done bathroom by the end of the week. Right guys, I have been awful at vlogging and updating you guys. So I've just been kind of cracking on with stuff like as and when. I've been a bit like under the weather, so I've been trying not to push it too much, but we have finally moved stuff back into this room. It's looking so much better. The new carpet's down, so I'll quickly show you what it's looking like. So obviously we need to do a little bit more tidying up and stuff, but the carpet's in, skirting boards, the walls have been touched up. The ceiling has obviously been skimmed and painted. We need to like clean the windows and the light because they're a little bit dirty from where we were like plastering and stuff. Um, I haven't moved everything back in here. <laughs> the dogs love rolling on new carpet. Um, I haven't moved everything back in here because I'm not going to move my desk back in here even though this is my office because we are going to start work on the master bedroom which means we're actually going to sleep in here so i'm going to move i've got a clothes rail and i've also got a big chest of drawers i'm going to move in here so we can sort of milo we can temporarily kind of like um yeah live out of this room whilst we're doing work on the master bedroom so make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on that you're being attention seeking um and also uh, i'm really trying not have like to not turn around because the bathroom has had some big changes so make sure you guys are subscribed and i will catch you in the next one with lots more home updates <laughs>